Hi everyone and welcome back to the main WP video blog series. In this video we will be having a brief look on how you can install main WP on your WordPress website. We will also have a brief look on how you can install the child version of this plugin on your client websites. First of all, it is important that you select one of your WordPress websites as the main hub through which you will control all of your other WordPress websites. In our company, for example, we decided to go for a clean WordPress installation on a separate domain. This ensures that you will not mix up your control main WP from the child main WP websites. Another popular method is to use your company website, but from a security standpoint that may not be the best of moves to make. In this instance, we will be installing main WP on a separate main domain. Installing main WP is as easy as looking up and installing a new plugin from the WordPress plugin repository. The only thing it requires is a simple search. Following up, choose and install main WP and make sure that you do not forget to activate. Installing main WP child is similarly easy to do. Just make sure that you are on the child website and use the same search in the plugin repository. This time we install the main WP child plugin. After installing the main WP child plugin, make sure it is actually activated. The only thing you really need to be aware of is that you need to connect your main WP child website to your main WP dashboard as soon as you've activated the child plugin. The reason behind that being is that when you neglect to do so, your site is open to security breaches. Luckily, connecting your website is a very easy thing to do. To connect your website, simply go to the main WP dashboard and click on add new site. You will need to collect a few things before being able to do so, such as setting up the site name, adding the URL, providing an admin username. You even have the option to add the website to a separate group. More on that will follow in a later video. Following that up, simply click on add new site and you're done. Should you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Suggestions are similarly welcome, so please leave them behind. In the meanwhile, I'm going to say take care and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.